Some of the best moves in NASCAR come with a split-second decision, a split second that can make or break your race. Just as these drivers made a three-wide daring pass to claim the checkered flag. All going on behind Regan Smith. Can he hang on? Will the fuel last to the finish line? Here they come to the checkers. On the outside lane, three wide to the win at Daytona. Whoa, Whoa hang on. Him loose. Wow, it is going at it for the race lead. The top two of the championship playing it off each other. Nobody given ground. Tight. Corner tight, clear. Clear one, two back to the 18. This is peak NASCAR racing at its finest. The top two in the championship banging fenders down the front stretch at over 190 miles per hour. This epic move by Brad Keselowski took him the lead with only a handful of laps to go in the Texas fall race in 2012. In my opinion, nothing will ever beat this chaotic finish at Bristol at the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2021. The racetrack, Allmendinger back in on the inside. He takes the lead. More contact behind him. The race for the win through three and four. Allmendinger, Cedric, side by side. Allmendinger wins it at the line. Hard, hard crashing off into turn one. One of the best moves in NASCAR history is when Kevin Harvick passed six cars in one lap to claim the victory at Richmond in 2013. Two Chevrolets in front of Allmendinger, Edward Stewart, trying to thread the middle and make a hole where none exists. There, there goes Carl on the outside. He's got a nice run. How about Kevin Harvick in that 29? That's his teammate he's chasing. McMurray got caught out, but way up the hill. Here they come to turn three. Looking for the white flag. Off the four on the outside. Harvick with the lead. Bert Boyer into turn one for the final time. Logano and Carl Edwards. Montoya sixth. One car high. Kyle Busch. No problem. Here they come to turn three. You ought to see what's going on. They're everywhere. And Harvick's got the field in his mirror. The closer. Kevin Harvick wins Richmond. Boris said is a NASCAR road course ringer, and he claimed his victory at Montreal in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Next two corners. Remember, it was the last corner of the last lap last year. One little mistake that cost Marcus Ambrose right, the they... win and allowed Carl Edwards to go here by. He Here's Pappas inside of Boris. He got him. Boris going to try the crossover. Clear, clear. Pappas over the curves. Here comes Boris said, drag racing to the finish line, side by side. Who's going to get here first? It is, I think Boris, Boris said. I think he got him by a bumper. Unreal. Boris said wins by a bumper. You're exactly right. Total finish there. Wow. Jeff, we talked about more aggressive restarts with a 24. Jeff Gordon got one there. A great restart for Jeff Gordon to the bottom of the track and to the front of the field. Amazing, you can hear. The near 60,000 people over the roar of 43 engines, but you could hear it there when Jeff Gordon took the lead. Jeff Gordon is a NASCAR icon, and in his final race, he made a three-wide pass to take the lead on a restart. He made that inside work. He was able to stay in the front, but nobody held him back that time. He lost the top of the spots last time he tried that. And the gas hard here, though. Three wide right in front of them. How about the four wide? Wow. Stewart to the bottom. Tony Stewart is one of the greatest drivers in NASCAR history, and he claimed his third ever championship by putting daring moves on the racetrack just like this. 
Ryan Newman, driving for Richard Childress Racing, needed to pass one car to make the final four in the inaugural NASCAR elimination style playoff system. And that he did. He put Kyle Larson in the wall in the final turn, knocking out Jeff Gordon from the playoffs. Larson's trying to split him. He's in between the two Toyotas. He bounces off Martin Truex Jr. right in front of Matt Kenseth, and he's on the low line. Kyle Larson with a blinding restart. Has Truex got anything for him down the back straight? Trevor Bain in the 6-2. What a great start from the Roush Fenway driver. Kyle Lars is arguably one of the best drivers to come up to the field in NASCAR history recently. And this move definitely solidified his spot in NASCAR. Brad Keselowski makes a late race pass on race leaders Kevin Harvick and Kyle Larson to punch his ticket into the next round of the chase. And here comes Keselowski to make it a three-way race for the lead. Going to try and split the middle. That's the only spot open. Three wide middle. Three. Wow, what a pass. This next clip is by far one of the craziest finishes in the NASCAR Xfinity Series I've ever seen. All three of the drivers were going for it at one of NASCAR's greatest tracks. Oh, there's a lot of contact. I want to do. And now Larson readies the car again. Creed off of the corner. Can Sheldon Creed hang on? His win would take him into the playoffs. Watch Noah Gregson right here. The nine looking low. Noah Gregson to the low side. And Creed, he pulls the video game move. He's in the wall. Can he keep the front line? Here comes Noah Gregson. Gregson will win at Darlington. Jimmy Johnson is one of, if not the greatest driver in NASCAR history. He won a lot of races. Not a lot of them were honestly that exciting, but he picked up two wins in his career in thrilling fashion. One of them was the 2005 Coca-Cola 600. Jimmy Johnson makes a late race pass on Bobby Labonte to close out his victory that night. Also, the 2011 Talladega race, where he beat Clint Boyer by just inches, being pushed by Dale Earnhardt Jr., passing all the leaders in an epic four-wide pass. You ever play those NASCAR games where it's very hard to avoid the cars crashing? Well, this next clip, it's like everybody forgot how to avoid other cars crashing and just all piled in. This is the craziest crash to finish a race that nobody honestly seemed like they wanted to win. Everybody kept on crashing, and it wasn't until 11th place James Busher came to take the checkered flag. Half a lap to go. Here comes Stewart in the 33 as Logano goes to the point. Three wide in turn four. A squeeze to the outside wall. Trouble in the corner. Hard, vicious crash. Who gets through to win the race? Caution flag has just been called. The race leader is James Busher in the 30 car. Unbelievable. Kyle Busch, the best at doing that anybody ever saw, He's going to go to the lead right here. He's a restart king. Look here he goes. What a move. Wow. That was incredible. This crowd is going nuts seeing a hometown guy. Everybody was sick and tired of seeing Jimmy Johnson win. And when it came to super speedways, there's no better driver than Jeff Gordon to take a crown back as victorious in 2007. Up high, Tony Stewart gets help from Casey Kane. That's four wide down the back straightaway. Hamlin on the inside. Here comes, here comes Gordon on the outside. Jeff Gordon has moved up in front of Tony, Tony Stewart. And to get the push by, Jeff Gordon, a five-time Talladega winner. He knows how to get it done. He hugged at the back of the pack all day long. He pulls up, and Tony Stewart pushes him by. As they come down, Jeff Gordon trying to hang on. Everybody's heard of the pass in the grass, but this is the original and the only pass in the grass by Dale Sr. Dale Sr. passes multiple cars off-roading in the grass. What a legend. Made contact okay. there with the now 95. 95 is going to line up, push this 11. They're side by side up front. The 11's going to have the run. He's going to try it. Here comes Hamlin to the inside. And Hamlin will make the pass. 
Harvick wow. gets away from the corner panel. Look at that move by Harvick. Ah, oh, that's aggressive. Junior get to the outside of the four car, Kevin Harvick. Here comes Blaney to the inside, three wide. Custer White to the flag. outside, four wide. White flag waves, one to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Next flag ends it. They're banging off one another. Custer to the lead. Oh, heavy tire rub. On the Where does he right. block? Does he block high? Does he yep. block low? Here it comes, Kyle Busch to the middle, shooting a gap. No help with Kyle Busch. Oh, Suarez right alongside him. Three wide. Off Look turn at this. Four. Here they come to the flag. Three abreast. Photo finish. How about, I think it's Blaney. Unbelievable. Three wide finish. Have you ever seen anything like that? Scoring. Uh, finish is under review. Scoring has the margin between the first three cars at 0. 0.00 seconds. <laughs> How awesome was that? The race finish is under review. How about that? Freeze frame, stop motion to the line. That's too close to call. <laughs> Unbelievable. I thought it was Blaney, but that picture right there. Chastain, <laughs> Elliott Bell, and Logano are going to fight for a championship in Phoenix. Take a look at what he did. I have never seen anything like that before in my life. Wide open around the wall in three and four at Martinsville. Unbelievable.